Hello Aries, this is going to be your May monthly tarot reading. And this will be for Aries who are born near the sun, moon, or rising sign, or anyone else um, influenced by the sign of Aries. Okay, so I'm just going to tune into your energies for the month of May. See what we can get into. And as always for my monthly readings, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot deck. you're enjoying your year so far it seems to be going by like really fast we're already in the fifth month already um or pretty much almost the overall energy you have the knight of wands which is your energy this would be a fireside individual so i feel like for the most part this is about you um coming out of a transitional period i feel like you might have dealt with some things i feel like you've been dealing with for everyone it's going to be different but i do feel like it has been some sort of um, not really a dark period, but just a struggle, a little bit of a challenging time. And I feel like you're finally coming out of that and coming back into your own, or maybe even coming into a new aspect of yourself that you have yet discovered and others have yet to discover or know that this is the side of you. Um, the challenge you have is the seven of cups. So I feel like you're going to be challenged with is everything too good to be true right now for you? Because it seems like a lot of things are going well for you. A lot of things are panning out. Or it could be um, one specific area. It could be your career and your finances. You just find it pretty odd that all of a sudden you have all of these clients or you're getting uh, this big promotion. And it's just like, I worked for it or this is what I prayed for. But I don't know if um, I can fully trust it or it's safe for me to just, enjoy all of this because what if it's too much for me what if it's what if what if what if it's the energy that i'm getting with the number seven i feel like spirit wants you to um of course don't go crazy so you have say a love is coming to your life or that career that you've always wanted don't go crazy and start getting greedy with your money don't start um gaining codependency habits just because you have a partner in your life spirit wants you to be still be at a, a at a grounded space with all of this but spirit also wants you to enjoy this and celebrate what's going on for you what's happening to you the good things so there's no reason to be challenged by all of the things that you've wanted to manifest and bring into your life if it's multiple things that you have managed to um, to manifest or whether it's just one thing one area of your life don't don't self-sabotage it by not believing it to be for you or good enough for you or you're not good enough for it or those things so your <clears throat> suggested approach this month is the ace of wands so they want you to continue on this momentum that you are in this new energy this new aspect of you to keep it going okay keep moving with it it's divinely meant for you to be in this space right now i feel like spirit is supporting you you have a lot of your elements um the spread so i feel like you're definitely being encouraged to keep going and keep moving it's almost like spirit is cheering you on with this hand coming out of the sky. It's usually like a divine energy. It could be God. It could be your higher self. But nonetheless, you're being spiritually um, rooted. Like you're being rooted for it. Your suggested um, focus or I feel like whatever your focus needs to be that's going to help you is the eight of swords. 
they, you're being guided to focus on any mental blockages that you have, meaning these are things that block you ultimately from feeling good or um, seeing things clearly or seeing the positives and being optimistic. So these are like fears and doubts that just come up or you questioning everything and you questioning yourself, questioning your worth, questioning your insight you know it's a, a lot of these fears and it could even be past memories of failure um well this is too good to be true like this job may not work out because the last time you know this person stabbed me in the back or this relationship's not gonna work because the last few guys i've been with they never worked out or they cheated on me or we just didn't click or it was fun in the beginning and then it got dull. You know, so many different things. But I, I feel like the reason why spirit is bringing those types of thoughts to your attention is to tell you to let them go. How they're they're limiting you, how they're, excuse me, how they're holding you back. Okay. Um, like triggers. They're coming up for a purpose, not to validate them as they are, as if they are real, but pretty much for you to see what you're doing to yourself so that you can stop it. Um, the outcome you have is the king of swords. So I feel like there's some, some communication, um, some important communication that maybe needs to be had between you and God or you and spirit, you and the universe, you and your higher self. I feel like that's an important communication. Um, maybe it's prayer or maybe it's giving thanks for something. Maybe it's, um, affirmations um, it's definitely something surrounding communication and I feel like it involves um, a higher power for some reason this person they don't really look like a, a human being they look very big at least to in this card to me so I feel like this is a divine being I feel like it's with the swords it's all about the mind and the intellect but it's also about communication so I feel like you will be um, encouraged to speak with your higher self more consult in your guides more or there may be something very important that needs to be communicated to you um but i just feel like because at the bottom of the deck you have the nine of swords you know the eight of swords is is there i feel like it also ties into the seven of cups where you're looking at everything as if it's too good to be true i don't know if i can choose that or if I can have that, what if it's not going to work or, you know, that fear of overindulging. You have a lot of mental worries and a lot of um, confusion that's still in the back of your mind, even though you're coming out of a dark period, um, coming into your own, stepping into this new energy, this new you. This could be you changing your hairstyle. This could be you switching up your home. This could be you, you know, finally adopting that energy or that courage to say no to people. Um, it could be you to step out of your comfort zone in some sort of way and be more bold, I feel. And there's always going to be this lingering um, fear in the back of your mind or this overanalyzing and over... Um, this doubting and insecurities so i feel like spirit wants you to focus on these mental thoughts and how they're blocking you okay because none other than that you have a lot going on um for you a lot of positive energy i feel like a lot for you to be happy um you have a lot to be happy for and grateful for at this time so i feel like take it all in and like spirit said be stay grounded Okay, don't overindulge, but don't even don't self sabotage yourself to the point where you block your blessing. Okay, all right, you guys. So that's your reading. I hope that it has resonated or brings you much clarity and insight, and will be beneficial throughout the month. Until next month, much love to you guys. Peace.